Hello everyone, welcome back to more chess. I thought we'd once again start with puzzles today, and I... Uh, and we're just looking at a random puzzle, not any particular goals or themes. The thing that jumps out to me is this. My bishop is undefended, and this lets me do something. Um, right, it's check, and threatens the rook. So you kind of have to take the knight. And then I get my bishop in here. And I threaten this pawn. I don't know. That doesn't really do anything, right? I could just, like, move my bishop, right? What's wrong with that? Well, I don't know. Something like this doesn't seem very good for me. Oh, Lee Chess is restarting. How exciting. Okay, well, I guess we won't start another game, huh? We'll do some puzzles for a bit. Um, and then I guess I'll have to, like, edit this together with the next uh, recording session once Lee Chess is back up. Um, The other thing, I guess, is I could do like this. The pawn is undefended. And it threatens this undefended bishop as well. So maybe the point is they can't take my bishop, even though it's undefended, if I do that. Here, here, check. And then I actually get to pick up the rook if they take. So this is actually a free pawn, because it's disastrous for them if they, if they take the bishop. Is there something I can do to make this hit harder or with a better guarantee? I don't think so. Also, uh, this bishop can't even escape anywhere. He could go here, I guess. Ah. Is that what's going on? The problem is here here, the bishop is defending this threat, and I can't take the bishop because the, the rook is guarding. So maybe that's why I'm supposed to do this first. It forces the bishop out of the picture. But then black has tempo, and I can't just barge in on this pawn right away. But I'll have a bishop here attacking this pawn and a rook attacking this one, and there's no way for them to defend both. I think that's productive. No. Is it really here? Okay, I mean, this is the line I saw that seems horrible for black, so let's see why the line I thought was good doesn't work. So I thought bishop here. Hmm, I see. Check. Is that checkmate? It is checkmate. It even says so right here. Okay, so that's why this doesn't work. It does deflect the threat I was planning to make. What I didn't realize is that there's this huge threat over here. I should look at the king, right, at the beginning of the puzzle. We have him here. We have him here. And so the king's only safe squares are these two. Um, rook here threatens both of them. OK, good puzzle. Wow, <laughs> what happened here? Um, Well, obviously these pawns are an issue, but I have the most advanced pawn, so I can promote quickest as long as I can defend it. This looks like a good first move, because white can't just make a break with their nearest pawn, nor can they capture this. But 
How do I descend the pawn heat once it goes here? This? I think king takes push here. The king is still in time, so that doesn't work. So here, let's say get another pawn rolling here. Or even maybe here? Kicking my knight? That's an interesting idea. But let's look at this first. And then I move again. And they go again. Push. Oops. Ah, uh, the thing is, okay. Um, I've made in this diagram three moves and they've made two, so it's their move. They can't just do this because I promote. I don't know, maybe they can do that. But I feel like I'm so close to their king and I have a knight to help. I should be able to checkmate before they can do anything with this promoted piece. So they, they can't do that. Um, they would have to instead say, um, defend with the king. Now I've made too many moves for them. Now we've each made three, and that would make it my move. Actually, this is the pawn they would be pushing with, because it might promote with check. Hmm. The other thing is, it sounds insane, but maybe I can just pick up all their pawns with my knight. I guess I can't win that way. I can get to a, a draw. Like, here takes, pick up this pawn, and the whole structure falls apart, right? Maybe they do this. But then I get this guy, and I'm in time to stop this. I don't know. I think this pawn is just going to be too big a deal. Yeah. If, if I... Uh, I don't know. I think it has to be this first, and then see what happens. In in a real game, you sh especially I guess in a puzzle, you should try to work out the details. But <clears throat> now I think I can just run away here. I don't think I really need the knight to protect. Or actually, if I'm running away, maybe here is better because it blocks their... <clears throat> no, they just kick me then. Maybe maybe now is when I say, all right, forget the knight and just push king. If they actually take this, it takes them three moves to promote. But I'm on move and can promote in one, two, three first. Yes, and if they promote, it'll be on this file, <clears throat> which means that I can probably arrange to skewer the king to the promoted pawn. Yeah, let's just ignore that knight. Nice. So let's let's work this through. Suppose they actually do go for it. Well, oh my God, get out of your windows. Um, if they if they just do this, I promote, and that seems bad, right? It likes that, which seems okay, but it means they're never promoting. So what if they do the thing that seems the most like dangerous to me? <clears throat> It threatens to stop me promoting, right? Okay, so I do. Now they're like, okay, I'll try promoting. And we just checkmate them with the queen. This pawn is not an issue. It's funny, all these moves look like the queen is setting up to take this pawn, but 
it's actually checkmate because we have opposition. The king can't go forward and he can't stay where he is. He has to run back. And then he's in the classic king and queen checkmate position. <laughs> they can promote attacking my queen, let's say. And I'd say, all right, checkmate. Very funny. <clears throat> so when did we get that notification about leak chess closing down in nine minutes? I don't know. Less than nine minutes ago. This? It forks the bishop or the, the queen and rook. Um, <clears throat> but there's kind of like this as a th threatened response to get out of it. And then we do this. Ah, however, <clears throat> excuse me, there's multiple threats on this square. The rook is not the only thing being attacked here. Um, if they do use the rook to get out of it in, in a line like this, I'm still forking these two squares. This one with the knight and this one with my other rook. <clears throat> because, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> let me get some water. because I'm threatening checkmate here. Bishop can block, but it's not useful. Um, so queen would have to take here to stop the checkmate, and then I capture with the knight. I think that works. Is this no good anymore? I didn't see this coming. Because here, bishop blocks, I don't actually seem to have any defense for my knight. I can defend it with my bishop, but I don't know that I've actually accomplished enough here. All of our pieces are tied up on white side of the board, but I don't have any obvious threats that I can see. Yeah, I should have thought more about how white could get out of the way with the queen. And here's a spot that leaves open bishop a4 and also defends it and attacks my knight. I feel like rook a3 is, or c1 is still good. Did I say a4 earlier? It was, it was d1. Um... Right, obviously, rook here, they can't just pick up the knight even though it's undefended because they're in check. But here... Oh my god, what am I... King, king's not going to do that, probably, but maybe bishop here. Um, and the knight, my only defender of the rook, is in danger. So I was foreseeing this as a way to keep everything tied together and it does seem to do that but it's just like I don't see the follow-up Huh, I don't get it. All right, let's find out if this is right after all somehow. Yeah. Oh, and they just do that. But, but why not this? Ah. The point is who cares about the knight? I guess? Yeah. Because if bishop here, and suppose they say, all right, I'm taking your knight. Then we check and win the queen. So I feel like them taking the rook, although it's the best move, is not really very testing. 
taking the knight, well, sorry, yeah. Here, taking the rook is the best move. And this drops like another pawn's worth of value. But this is where I would have been like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I would have made the wrong move. And suddenly it's even instead of being up a rook. So I don't know. I don't think this was that great a puzzle. That's my opinion. Okay, taking my pawn. Um, this bishop is cool. Right now he's not doing that, but he's if, if these pieces got out of the way, he could do something neat. So maybe I meant to like call the bishop's bluff? I don't think so. This isn't very forcing, and so that it typically will not be the right answer in a puzzle. Um, the bishop could just retreat to here or here. Here? It threatens the bishop while defending my own. But I think they would be happy to have this exchange. And I don't have much follow up with just major pieces, I don't think. So there's got to be some other way to resolve this situation. <clears throat> Here? No, that just drops the bishop. Here also drops. Any any knight move is dropping the bishop. Uh, even if even if I get a bishop, a bishop back for it, I don't want to lose the bishop. So it feels like not a knight move. What about queen here? Chases the bishop away a little bit more forcefully than rook here. I guess not really. But I, it keeps control of this file. So here, I don't know. Am I focusing too much on this bishop? Is there something else I should do here? It's hard to see what. Not really anywhere good to put my rook on this file besides where he is. And I don't, this is basically still focusing on the bishops. So if we're looking for other stuff, that ain't it. I want a way to move the knight with tempo. But he can't reach anything important. I guess he could do this. That's a little interesting. If they take, I capture the bishop. Oh, but then queen takes me, so that's not so good. I don't know. The only thing I can see that looks sort of promising is this, but I don't think it's right. Yeah, all right, what, what, what was the answer? A different threat against the bishop. So 
So this covers most of his escape squares. I guess that's a good point. A queen on a white square does a good job of blocking in a, a light square bishop. So the only apparently safe move is this, which is not suggesting. So what's wrong with that? Ah, I fork the rook and the bishop. I didn't notice the undefended rook at all. That's something that's really important to pay attention to. Did Lee just restart already? I'm pretty sure it did. Interesting. You can choose difficulties. Um, we'll do one more puzzle and then jump into a game since I guess the restart. Like, why do they even notify me if I don't have to do anything about it? Um... This is a check that doesn't immediately lead to me getting killed. And it threatens this, which seems pretty cool. But a move like pawn here disrupts that. Oh, but you can't do that because you're in check, obviously. So check. Queen blocks does nothing. Pawn block. Oh, right. There is no pawn block because I'm like this. So king kind of has to move, and he only has these two squares to move to. If here, I have this as a follow-up. Well, I have this as a follow-up to both moves, right? Um, Anyway, it's the most obvious follow-up to either. Maybe there's something better. Um, actually, rook here might be cool as well. Let's look at king going this way first. So check, check. Check. Here. Ah. Now this, right? That forces this. Actually, I have this rook to use. Yeah, I think this bishop here is not the right idea. So check, move, check here. Check. King could escape, I guess, to either of these light squares, but I can just chase him with rook here. Actually, that doesn't work very well, does it? Oh, also, hang on, there's a queen on this diagonal. Ah, okay, so we're not checkmating the king. We're picking up this queen with my light square bishop. So check here, check here. We respond check. King is in danger. If queen takes, we recapture with rook. Or actually queen would be checkmate, so that's no good for the opponent. Okay. Oh my god, get out of here. And if king moves, we just scoop up the queen. So we've proven that king here is not a good escape. What about king here? Well, I have this check forcing king here. And then this follow-up forcing checkmate? Yeah, okay. So oh, king over here loses, king over here drops the queen. That's what we're doing. Cool, good puzzle. All right, let's try, uh, let's try playing a game, since apparently Lee test restarting doesn't matter at all. Kagru 
Kagrisavidu. Is that Polish? I don't know. Poles should be in bed right now, shouldn't they? Um, you guys don't know what time it is, I think. I don't think there's a clock around here, but... I don't know. You could maybe be waking up. Be your morning chess. Uh... I think we'll just do this. We've established before that them taking this pawn is not a good move. Pin the knight. Seems okay. Insist. <clears throat> All right, fine. My bishop's going to be sidelined a bit, but their king side sucks. We're making a home for the bishop in case they decide to press the issue. Okay. My bishop like sucks a little bit. He's on a great diagonal. It's just kind of clogged with pawns at the moment. Oh. Well. But this pawn's hanging because this guy would be pinned. So I don't think that's such a big deal. It's not pinned. But if you take, I can trade queens, ruin your, your king's position completely, and then recapture. So yeah, that, that's actually, this would be a terrible move. Because I would... I would move the king here, knight here, and then like fork the king and rook. Let's. Well, that doesn't really threaten the knight, does it? Let's try and get rid of the knight. This way? No, I don't want to obscure my queen's view, I don't think. Because remember, they don't want to do this. Yeah, this knight's in a little danger, I think. I think he wants to run away to there. Ooh, I like this. Um, now we can't get here so easily. Oh yeah, I can. I can just pick this up, right? Now this pawn and this pawn are also forked, and this one is... They can't move either of them because then I get this. I wonder if I should have castled with check first. No, I want the king to stay where he is. I don't want to give him an excuse to move. Okay. And now we take this, I think. Anything better? Bishop here? Bishop here threatens this pawn, but they can just move it. And I don't really have a follow-up. Yeah, let's just grab this guy. Okay. The knight is sort of pinned to this pawn and also undefended, so that's a little bit of an issue, but I think this would be fine. Is there anything better? What about developing? I like that. It would be really sweet to land a knight here, wouldn't it? <laughs> now that the king is in has has mirrored the typical king rook fork is on the other side of the board. That's kind of funny. 
Um, but I can't get a knight here anytime soon. The, the pawns here, here, and here are controlling it. Uh, okay. Let's just... Which way do I want to castle? Because that's what I want to do right now, is one of those two things. I think this pawn is too scary. Let's go queenside. It also, since opponent only has a light square bishop, this is a nice little home for the king, which I can't have over here. This isn't too bad either, but they might break it up, and I don't, I don't want that. Really? Why? These two guys are lined up and not that well defended, but you can't get a rook onto this file, so... I'm not sure what the problem is. This is kind of interesting. It piles up on the bishop, but the bishop is well defended now. And it's not like it's pinned, even. If they like tried to take here, I could still retake, and the, the rooks defend my back rank well enough. This seems like a very strong position. I just have to make sure not to lose. I want to move the knight. What if I move him here with check? Takes is bad, so they don't do that. Here with check. Where can the king legally go? Not here. That's about it. He can go to either of these two spaces. This is pretty bad because of the discovery with my bishop, I suspect. So it would be king here. And then we have a, a fork there. Yeah, I think anything they can do is bad after this move. We either pick up the bishop or we pick up the rook. Actually, we can just pick up the rook, the bishop regardless. So maybe they do this to make it just the exchange that they're losing instead of a whole piece. But then, boom, 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 like the king is very, very sad. Okay. So in between our check, king could move here, but then this. Or, oops, not that. Or bishop could block, in which case I would just take with check. So I think this in-betweener is fine, and we can scoop up the bishop after they move, say, here, with check. Is there something better? I don't think so. None of these rook moves are very good except for this one. King kind of has to go here? Yeah. And I don't have an immediate killing blow that I see. But we're obviously in a very strong position. We want to work on controlling this square. So that a move like this would be the end of the game. I don't need this rook anymore. So I could I could do this and then deliver checkmate like so. Assuming white does nothing, or black does nothing, which obviously is not what they're going to do. But I think this is a cool idea. OK. 
Okay, let's just uh, get onto a light square. All my pieces are much safer on light squares. Try to remember that. And we control all of the bishop's interesting entries in here with our pieces. Okay, he's creating an escape route. But what about like a check here? King kind of has to run to the, the hidey hole he made. And then we can pursue him in various ways like this. <clears throat> Or we could pick up the pawn if if we prefer. Or even this pawn now. Here. King really needs to run away somewhere. I don't think this is good. I think it would be here. Check. I sort of lose track of what's going on at this point. I don't think the check is really that mm, purposeful. It sort of just gives up tempo. Here, where exactly can the bishop go? Here, I guess. Kind of has to go there, in fact. So, rook here, bishop here. Rook here pins the bishop to the rook. Okay. And then I can attack it with my my bishop, for example. Yeah, I got to that as soon as I could. Once I did that, I couldn't immediately attack it, but I got my king out of the way and then immediately Okay, I wondered if this had been hanging around for a while, but it hasn't. There's like this little tiny black spot at the bottom of the screen. Oh yeah, I can make it go away. Okay. Anyway, the point of pinning the bishop to the rook Okay, yeah, I'm not going to fall for that one, thank you. I could just back up. Um, but I think it would be better to develop a flight square. Well, that lets the rook into my back rank, which I don't much want. This, I think this was a mistake. Yeah, I have to let him in now, I think, to one of these two squares, neither of which is at all desirable for me. But if, if he does that, I get the bishop, so it's maybe not that bad. Yuck. If I'd had a flight square earlier, this wouldn't be a problem. I don't know. I can defend my pawns by just pushing them to the third rank where I have a rook, I guess. Wait a minute. This is horrible. That's, they have a dark square bishop. I thought they had a light square bishop in that. Like, oh no, this is game over. Well, not yet. Check, I can run here, but they can't immediately harass me. They could, they could attack with the bishop, but I can escape. But like, th things have gotten much worse than they needed to be. My king position has gone from rock solid to like wet tissue paper.
yeah. The engine's going to have something to say about this middle game. <laughs> There's not even any light squares I can get my king to. This bishop's going to be a huge pain. If they try to attack these pawns, something like um, this and this defends them all pretty well. Although it does put them on lights or on dark squares, which I don't care for. Check. What does that accomplish? King can't go to any of these squares. If he goes here, we... I don't know. I guess I can't actually check him with the rook because my bishop's in the way. Here would be bad because I can bring my, my rook in. But these two don't actually seem that that problematic. I can say, go ahead, take my bishop. I think that would be fine. I want this guy out of here. And I don't need this bishop. If they want him, they can have him. If I can trade bishops, I'm very happy is all I'm getting at. And bishop kind of has to go here to live? Or here. And after that, I can run away with my bishop. This, this keeps him a persistent nuisance, for sure. Means I never have a home. <clears throat> Check rook here. Threatening to swarm in somehow. Or maybe stay here so that... Oops. I right-clicked. So that um, I can threaten to discover an attack with my bishop, say here. Yeah, let's check and see where he goes. Oh my god, I'm running low on time. It's plenty to finish up this endgame, I think, but I need to stop musing so much every move. Here. So that means I can do this, can't I? Isn't that a problem? Maybe not. I need to do something about my king. Just go here. Now this pawn is in some danger. And the rook can't easily defend it. This doesn't work because here. And this doesn't work because here. Okay, I think I need to get out of it here. No, that yeah, that's fine. Then when they, they can check me, but I get out of the way and defend the bishop again. Let's try to run over to the king's side. <laughs> yeah. 
Take a little walk. I shouldn't be going on dark squares, but right now he doesn't have this bishop doesn't have any way to harm me. I can just take him if he tries. Okay, we did it. We're on a white, a light square. And I want to do this to make it actually safe over here at some point. And the bishop is a little bit locked in, huh? Yeah, I mean he can he can get out, I guess. Check. Does this do anything? Check. Takes. Check. Not really. Okay. Let's just develop a, a little safety. Probably something like this is pretty good soon. Yeah, like now. It's poor bishop. I've only got two pawns and my my own bishop on dark squares. Anyway, this is obviously a serious threat. It would be. Okay, yeah, come on in. I don't mind. That's why we put this pawn here. Now the king guard ties all of this together pretty well. This pawn is a sensitive spot, but we have it under control. So check. King, oh, whoops, he already moved, huh? Check. King kind of has to go back or else block here, which doesn't seem very good. Check here. I don't like as much. Check? Checkmate, right? The bishop is guarding. Check. This is illegal. This is illegal. This is illegal. Okay, cool. Down to 16 seconds, but I was using the time productively and, and could have moved faster if I needed to. They give you the full 10 minutes, and by God, I'm going to use the full 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, without increment, of course, I would have to be playing more quickly. I feel like this game was pretty well under control, aside from the one blunder of letting the bishop in here. It doesn't think that was a blunder because I was already ahead. I guess, I don't know, this was my blunder, maybe? It doesn't like this. That's interesting. Oh, I can just win a pawn. Take take. I should probably take with the knight, because then if I retake with the bishop, I'm pinning this knight. Okay. No. No. Oh, it's not winning a pawn, it's trading a piece for a pawn. Ugh. That's really interesting. What was I supposed to do that was better than saving my piece? Oh, I see. Attack theirs? Yes. 
I think this was before, was this before or after I realized that they don't want to recapture? It was kind of before, right? Um, this is an attack on their knight, which is sufficiently large to distract them from the, the attack on my bishop. And if they just recapture, we have this in, as a further in-betweener, which I end up doing eventually, but not as soon as I would have liked. Or as I could have. So it's actually this. Yeah. Okay, that's... That's a good point. What is going on? Why is it like... So I retreated, dropping... Oh, dropping this pawn. Indeed, they just didn't take it, and that's why I was able to recover. So we blundered that pawn back and forth a couple times. And then they took it. Interesting. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 same thing. All right, I get it. You can stop hitting me over the head with it. But what about at the end when I let in the bishop? Like, obviously I was well at, or it wasn't the bishop so much as like the um the back rank threat right because i, I let in the rook yeah so here at this point it, it says yes this is a bad move this cost me like about a pawn and they should just invade immediately and then they did um and it would have been better to do this, but it doesn't ultimately matter because I'm still miles ahead. Fair enough. Okay, I don't remember. Did we play two games today, or was it just a bunch of puzzles and then this one kind of longish game? I don't remember. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.